Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics talking about something that's not Ubuntu. It is about Linux. This is Puppy Linux. And Puppy Linux runs off of a CD. It's 160 megabytes and it takes about 30 seconds to load. But it's instantaneous there on after. You don't need a hard disk at all. You can also put it on a USB flash drive and carry it around with you. And it looks a little bit different than uh, Ubuntu does in appearance and it looks a bit to me like Mint or KDE and it does not have every single application on it that you can get with Ubuntu. It is a little brother. I first go to the Puppy Linux site and then when you hit the Puppy Linux site it shows you uh, their main page and there's a picture of a little puppy and you can then go down to where it says to download it and I go to download here and hit that and it opens up and you have to find your way through the maze of menus here that's the problem I go to announcement the latest and greatest and uh, none of this is straightforward you've got to go down and find the right place until you find the ISO file to download and I've already done that but I'm going to just start it off again here you hit the ISO file and tap on it and it says what do you want to do well me I'm going to save the file and when you hit OK it's going to take a long time that's because this is a slow site I have a slow computer and I have a slow internet and everything's slow so just let it download I'm going to just stop this because I've already done that. And when you get that ISO file, now I told it to uh, save it onto my desktop for the purpose of this. And here it is up here, uh, the ISO file itself. This, by the way, is the recording I am making at the moment using Screencastor. The file right here, the ISO file, you've got to manipulate that file and record it onto a blank CD. You have to have a CD burner on your computer. If your computer does not have one, of course, you can borrow somebody's. And But it has to be able to burn a CD. Now, the way you do that in Ubuntu is you go up here to Dash Home and you look for Brazero Disk Burner. And when it comes up, you're going to burn image and you see this is my history recent projects I've already done this and when you tap on this it's going to ask you which one do you want to burn well I've got it up here on my desk uh, and then I uh, it says there's no disk in there right now you have to put in a blank disk and then you create this this image well after you do that you can then turn off your computer and uh, you can load this CD into the slot. You'll have to go to your BIOS setting, and that's with usually an F9. Uh, as when you turn on the computer, you'll hit F9 on most laptops, and it'll say, "Where, where do you want to uh, start with?" And I tell it, "Well, I want to start with the CD." and it will then load Puppy Linux into the CD. Now here's the trick. I tried to go online and find out a way where I could directly, immediately, download Puppy Linux from the internet onto uh, a flash drive, and I was not able to do that. You have to do the intervening step of burning it onto the CD or at least that's all I've been able to find. After you burn it onto the CD you can then open up Puppy Linux and then there is an icon in Puppy Linux that says hey would you like to make a copy of this on a flash drive and then from that CD you can then use a flash drive and install Puppy Linux. Now I'm going to turn off this recording and then I'm going to use uh, the camera on my iPad 
and I'm going to show you what Puppy Linux looks like. I'm going to not record the boot up process on my computer. It takes about 30 seconds. I was disappointed in that. I thought it was going to be something like a five second boot or a three second boot or more or less instantaneous. But no, it takes just as long as does uh, uh, any other big program. In fact, in a prior video, I have got Ubuntu on a flash drive, and it takes just about as long as it does from the hard disk to load up, and so does Puppy Linux. The advantage with Puppy Linux is that I've got a 16 gigabyte flash drive that it's on, and the whole operating system and all of the software only take up 160 megabytes so you can use that flash drive for a lot of stuff so let me uh, stop this recording right now and then I'm going to go over to the other uh, computer and record this well here I am back again and I'm turning on my laptop you can hardly see my hand because it's dark and I have to hit F9 and F9 allows me to tell the computer what to boot from. Now normally it's either going to boot from the hard disk or the DVD, but I'm this time going to tell it to boot from my uh, SANS disk 16 gigabyte flash drive which is plugged into the side of the computer. And when I hit enter, I just did, it is then going to boot. Now you've got your puppy Linux screen pops up, 543 is the version, and it is booting and it's going to take a while to boot and while it is doing that I'm going to show you the side of my computer that is the only thing it's running off of this is 16 gigabytes and puppy Linux runs in 160 megabytes it goes through its loading process and it tells you what it's doing and this and that and you can configure this thing after it is uh, up and running uh, when you run this for the first time with your CD, you can go up to the top of the screen where it says install, and you can install it onto a flash drive. And there is a very good menu structure and a lot of help files. It's, for such a small distribution, quite amazing what it's got in it. I'm going to go down to the very bottom and I'm going to show you the menu and the menu is is uh, quite familiar and easy to use and there are so many things in it I can't believe they can cram it all in there there are uh, some icons on screen for quick things and you can change all that around there's a word processor uh, a spreadsheet paint draw and you can go online and it saves your settings after you have uh, shut down the computer. Uh, I recommend it very much. It's good to use. Uh, I don't see any problem with it at all. Uh, if you are an Ubuntu guy and, and, and Ubuntu guy only, you're going to say, well, you know what, I just don't really think I need this thing. But on the other hand, boy, what a, what a great system to carry around. Now, I have accidentally left my USB flash drive in my trousers pocket and run the thing through the washing machine, not once, but no kidding, three times, and the thing still works. So, uh, try that with uh, anything else. You can power it off by just hitting power off there, and when it does, it saves all of your settings, whatever setting you had. Uh, my name is Pop, and uh, I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics, and I thank you very, very much.